I traded Uber today. Of all the stuff that was spiking and dropping and everything, I don't know why I traded Uber, but I, I think because I'm just comfortable trading it. I took it uh, long here and then added back here and wrote it up. And I think I was at like, you can see I'm short right now, still a couple hundred shares. I think I was at like 250, maybe, yeah, 267, something like that. And then I missed this here. I wanted to short it. And I tried to short it out of this flag here and I got popped. And I had too many shares. So I lost back down to I don't know what. And then it popped back up and I'm like, damn, I should have known better. I'm not really supposed to be trade taking initial positions right around the view up because you, you never know. Is it going up? Is it going down? So I tried it again here when it popped up, figuring this is just a long flag. I'm looking for the big dump off here because of how much it's up. Most stocks these days, it seems like when they're gap up, that they initially pull all the way back down before they cup and run up. Unless they're really strong, which Uber was really strong, but it didn't really show it. You can see it's moving like later in the day, like five cents and then maybe 10 cents. But anyway, I tried to short it again here on the flag. No, so I lost twice right here. Like three quarters of the profit I made. I'm like, all right, well, I guess it is strong. And this look at this turned out how long this flag turned out to be. So I longed it here. Long, looks like I, I don't know. It looks like I might have tried to short it again right here. Long. And then I finally shorted it here and milked it for the last little bit. Got it up to like, well, I'm at 350 right now. It's fixing to stop me out. See, that's what I mean. You get to the VWAP, you just hit a chop zone. I mean, yeah, this is a small mover. You're talking a 10 cent chop zone. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> well, there goes the trade. I just, I just moved my order by accident. When you place orders on, um, uh, interactive broker, you can move them around on the board, or you can move them around here. And that's what I did accidentally when I was moving my mouse around. But anyway, 350 on Uber. Um, I initially had 267, lost some, and then gained it back here on the, where well, I gained it back a lot of times. It's 1120. Let's see, an 11 o'clock drop. It's called the 11 o'clock drop. I mentioned it in a lot of my videos. At 11 o'clock, I assume that what's happening is the hedge funds and Wall Street goes to lunch. And so there's typically they sell a lot of positions before they go to lunch. Maybe they go to lunch at 12 or 1130 or something, but they start selling up around 11 o'clock. It can be like late. I've seen it late, even all the way up to 12, but it's usually 11, 11 to 15. If it doesn't happen by then, then I'm out of here. Um, and it can go the opposite way too, but normally 90% of the time it's a drop. They're selling positions or something, I'm assuming, before they go to lunch. And uh, a lot of times it's a pretty, this is a you know, small mover, but still it dropped. So we were up here around 90 and it dropped all the way down to 40, 50 for a 10 cent mover. But I mean, typically you can get a pretty good size move. So what I, I don't normally trade it. I trade it when I haven't made any money or I'm down and I, I want to recapture some of my loss. So in today is basically I hadn't made very much money. So I was only at like, well, after I lost here, I was only at like 150 bucks. So I waited around, trade the 11 o'clock drop and made, and increased my profit somewhat. 